Larry back yet? Right here, Bugsy. What do you know about Sweden, Larry? Well, let's see. There's a Garbo and Bergman. I need a Hector. That's fine, fine. Get your things packed. What for? Because I'm sending you there. Oh? I want you to write a series of articles about the Swedish morals. No statistics, just simple stories about simple people, understand? Yeah, sure, but uh, when does this uh, happy event take place? Mulligan? Good. Put Harris on the story and cover it with plenty of pics. Juicy ones. Kind of an assignment you like, huh? Well, I don't know. I've heard it. Mulligan? No. How soon can you leave? Well, let's see. It'll take at least two or three days. Please came out from Geneva. Mulligan? Fine, I want it in big print and a follow-up on page two. Mulligan? Jaime, what happened? I've been waiting over an hour for that order. Okay, I'll repeat it slowly. One hot pastrami on rye. One order of coleslaw, pickles, and a cup of coffee. Black, and hurry it up, I'm starving. I want to see the proofs as soon as they're set. Here, give these to Casey for a rewrite. Thanks. Well, how soon can you leave? Well, like I said. That's my boy. Sally, Larry's tickets. Right. Can't waste time. You're on salary, you know. Hey, Bugs. Can I talk to you for a second? No. Look, could you give me a few details on I've this job? I've already told you. But your tickets, Larry. There you are, my boy. Happy landing. You think I have time for a landing? Mulligan? Are you kidding? We can't print that even if it is true. Are you still here? Get going. Your plane leaves in two hours. Mulligan? Jaime, what's with my pastrami sandwich? Tell me when the next flight from Rome is doing. Uh, 425, gate 16 on the left. Flight 269 to Stockholm. Gate 9, line forms on the right. All right. Yes? Oh, why is your start, please? Hi, Steve. It's fine. Jack. 
Hello. Larry. Larry. Goodbye, boys. Attention, please. Attention, please. Flight 261 now departing for Gander, Preswick, and Stockholm. Passengers will please board at gate 9. Stockholm? Yes. Me too. Uh -huh. You traveling alone? Yes. Well, I think this trip's going to be a lot of fun, don't you? Yes. Is yes the only word you know, or am I just asking the right questions? Yes. <laughs> Are you Swedish? <laughs> Boy, what an assignment. had a decent argument in weeks. Oh, this is Larry Brand, clean cut and highly eligible. Larry, this is my ugly sister, Ingrid. It's nice to meet you, Ingrid. Nice to meet you. Where are you staying? Grand Hotel. Oh, we can drive you there. Sounds appealing. It certainly does. Any luggage, sir? Yes, two brown cases in the back. Right. Well, girls, thanks for the lift. Bye, Brigitte. Bye. Bye, Ingrid. Bye. If you like, we can drive you wherever you want to go. No, I have a car at my disposal. The company's paying. Thanks anyway. All right. Bye. 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 See you so soon. You forgot your coat. Oh, thanks. You should have just left it down at the desk. What? I missed the chance to see you alone? Well, it was nice of you to bring it up. Oh, it was no trouble. Anyway, here's my address. Oh, well, uh, just leave it on the table, will you? If you really want to find out about Swedish morals, just give me a ring. Not a bad idea. Hello? Hello, Brigida. Oh, Ingrid speaking. Is that you, Larry? Yeah, it's Larry. Listen, Ingrid. I've got a car and a tank full of gas and you end to drive up to Redford. And all I have to know is how to get up there and I'll be all set. I could show you. Would you really? Who is it? Guess. Oh, let me speak to him. I can meet you anywhere you want. We'll both meet you. Fine. Uh, listen, I, I'd better uh, go up there alone. It's a special assignment, uh, you know, uh, secret. Uh, I tell you, you just tell me how to get up there Oh, better yet, I'll buy a map. Oh, well, we will see you again. Oh, uh, what about dinner tonight? Wonderful. We're here at 7. We will cook it. It's a date. Bye. Bye. Number? Yes, wrong number.
Are you all right? Oh. Are you crazy? You almost killed us. Why don't you keep your eyes on the road? Anything broken? No, I don't think so. Well, then I'm in a hurry. Hey, hey, wait a minute. I don't think I can get this car out of the ditch. So what? Well, be a little help, will you? I haven't seen a house in miles, and I've got to get to a telephone. I said I was in a hurry. You're not going to leave me out here like this, are you? Where do you want to go? To Stockholm. Sorry, but I am heading in another direction. But if you want to come along, it's all right. There's a phone there. Thanks. Get in the back seat. Hi. I didn't know you had company. Meet Mona Mays, my partner. My name's Larry Brad. Mine's Max. Well, what kind of business are you in? Show business. We have a nice little act. Isn't that right, Mona? Are you all right? She gets a little car sick sometimes. But she'll be in shape for the show tonight. Uh, are you touring? Yes. But we'll be back in Stockholm tomorrow. Tonight is our last performance. Well, I'd like to catch it. Might be something to write home about. You like the act. Mona Mays, the girl that makes all the glamour girls look like amateurs. find out where our sleeping quarters are. Hello, Max. What's happened? You are late. Hello. I had a little trouble on the road. An accident? Yeah. How do you feel? I'm still a little shaky. Here. Have a cigarette. It's wonderful to have you back again. It's wonderful to be back again, Ollie. I'll park my car around the back. Come and I will show you where you have to stay. Is he part of the act? No, I'm part of the accident. You can blame me for these people being late. Mona! Mona, darling! It's nice. It's awfully nice to see you. Hello, Lola. How is everything? About to say. There is nothing wrong with Mona. She's just a little car sick. How are you, Lila? Up until this moment, I felt fine. You go on in an hour. Better get rest. If you are not busy, maybe we can go together after the show. I'll be busy. Come on, Max. Hurry on. You have quite a lot of things to do. Come on. That's right. Are you a friend of Max's? No, let's just say I'm an unfortunate acquaintance. I'm glad you said that. You look too nice to be mixed up with Max. But you have been, hmm? Does it show? No, not really. Just sounds that way. Besides being good looking, you also have brains. That's a good combination. You know, I'm really not busy after the show. I'll make it a point to remember that. Uh, by the way, where can I find a telephone? Over there. Well, I'll see you later, hmm? Okay.
I can do? She'll go right. What's the matter with her? Nothing. She's just tired. Don't you think we ought to get her to a doctor? I can't take care of her. Max is right. I'm just tired. Mona, when you're ill, you're going to feel tired. Look, she's all right. Maybe she is, but I still think she needs a doctor. We have been getting along without any advice before. We don't need any now. Where are you going? I've got to make a phone call. I've got a car in a ditch, remember? Of course, I forgot. There's a booth on the other side of the tent. Come, I'll show you. No, thanks. I'll find it myself. Heard. My reputation is true, you see. Heard it myself from a bird. I'm the sack around the clock to every marriage. I'm a knack. Smiling lips, rolling hips. I'm the girl that is a Judge me wrong. Dear audience, you the jury, 
is a girl bat simply because it disrupts when the temperature is up. I'm the shock around the clock to every marriage. I'm a knock to the spot. I'm much too hot tonight. Yes, it's virtually impossible to get a ride at this hour. So it looks like you're going to have a passenger back to Stockholm tomorrow. Splendid. Did you like the show? Yeah, splendid. I forgot to get the key from my car. I'm a son. <laughs> oh, I'm having a wonderful time. Come on, let's have a drink. All right, I'm coming. This car I would have disapproved. Does that mean you approve? That means I'm on your side. Do you know what these are? I was once Max's girlfriend. She had all his secrets, even those hid in his trunk. What about now? Now he has a new girl. All that's left for me are some pretty horrible memories. Mona doesn't look too happy herself. No, she's not. I wish I could help her. Maybe we could help her. That we sound so good. I think I could kiss you for saying it. Well, why don't you? You're absolutely right. Why don't I? I hate to cut you short, but if you like to speak to Mona, I saw her going down to the lake a little while ago.
What took you so long? Didn't you like the performance? Depends on which one you mean. I've seen three today. But it was that performance in the dressing room that made me a little sick. What do you mean? I found these in the back of Max's car. You had no right to take them. How long has he been feeding you this stuff? That's none of your business. Mona, I'm trying to help you. Why? Well, I don't know. Except every now and then you meet somebody you just want to help without knowing exactly why. You, you just care what happens to them, that's all. You really mean that? Yes, I do. Then give it to me. I'll hide it. Listen, I know a very good place, honest. I won't tell Max, I promise. Please give it to me. Mona, you're going to have to do this the hard way. That's because Max always made sure that you did. But this time we're going to prevent him from doing that. How? Huh. By exposing him. Exposing? Sure. Get it out in big print so that everybody can read about it. Then you're a newspaper man. Yes, I am. Oh, no, let me oh, go! Now stop acting like a little fool and sit down and listen to me. Don't you know I'm trying to help you? Don't you want to be cured? Crazy kid. You keep taking this stuff and you'll end up in a lunatic asylum. Would you like that? No. All right. Then you listen to me and you do exactly as I say. You will now, won't you? Good. Now tell me. You know where Max gets this stuff? No. What can you find out? I can try. Good. You find out all you can, see? And then I'll take over from there. And we'll get you to the hospital. And we'll lick this thing together. Okay? Okay. Where have you been? Been for a little walk. Well, we have to start early tomorrow, so let's get some sleep. Good night, Larry. Good night. There is a cot for you in the manager's tent. Thanks a lot. Good night. Max told me I could sleep out here tonight. The cop to left is yours. Thanks. You know Max and Mona well. Oh, well enough. Oh, she's a beautiful girl. I like her very much. But I'm afraid she hasn't the same feeling for me. Well, maybe you should take a more positive attitude. Attitude? I try all of them. Negative, positive, neutral, angry, aloof, happy-go-lucky. But nothing work. I'm afraid it's a lost case. Oh, she's probably just playing hard to get. No, I even offer her a singing job at the Golden Calf. Well, that's my place, a little cafe, you know, in the old part of the town. Good paid and everything. Would she take it? No. You haven't got a match, have you? Oh, yes, I have it somewhere. Wait a minute. Oh, here it is. It's from my cafe, the Golden Calf. Thanks. Well, I'd like to see it sometime. Yes, certainly. You're welcome any time. Just step inside. It isn't fancy, but it's very secure, secure, secure. secluded. Yeah, <laughs> that's right, secluded. By the way, do you snore? Well, occasionally. How about you? Only when I sleep. 
Good night, Mr. Brown. Are you asleep yet, Mona? And I'm too nervous. How about a little medicine? I have it right here. No, maybe I should save it. to ask you something. What did the American talk to you about? Nothing. Nothing. Please, Max, please. No, no. Don't go. Don't okay. Go. You tell me what the American said to you, and you'll get the needle. What did he say? He, he knows all about us. He knows I take dope. And he wants to take me away. To a doctor. Thanks. And? He's, he's a newspaper man. And he knows he's selling morphine. You're home early. Been driving since four this morning. Business good? Fine. And you? All right, girls. Find another place to sit. I want to talk business. And how does our little starlet feel today? Wonderful. What's the matter? Has Max been treating you bad again? Don't be funny. Look, I'm all out of supplies. I need some for tonight. I have some in here. You'll get what you need later. Okay. something? No, no, Max. I feel fine. Let's save it for when I really need it. All right. As you wish. It's nice to be back in town again. It will give me a chance to do some shopping. Yeah. Yeah. All right. 
right, Mona. Where is it? I told you, I don't know. Mona, I'm not fooling. Where is it? Max, please believe me. I never took it. I didn't even know you did it. Stop talking. Stop talking. No. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? <gasps> The American. American? What American? We picked up an American on the road. A newspaper man. Oh, I don't like this. It's getting to me trouble. Lots of trouble. It's nothing to worry about. He doesn't even know where to find us. Well, let's hope so. I've got some customers tonight. I know. I'll get some for you. But I need some time. And you, fix yourself up. I don't want anyone seeing you this way. It isn't good for the business. Come on. You can drive me back, please. Mr. Max is here. Send him in. Hello, boss. Please, Max, not boss. It sounds so vulgar. You have been traveling? Business good? Very good. As a matter of fact, I'm all sold out. Ah, I'm very glad to hear that. And now I suppose you need more supplies. Right. How much do you need? For 2,000. It's always a pleasure to do business with you, Max. Here you are. Have your arm. No. I, I want to dress first. I'll take it later. All right. Please, Max, please. I've got the dress. What's the matter? Don't you like Maxie anymore? Now get out and dance. You draw the people here. 
The more people, the more business. So let's give them the money's worth. Listen, girls, I can't make it right now. Why? Well, it's very important that I locate a certain cafe first. Thought maybe you could help me. What cafe? The Golden Cat. We pick you up in ten minutes. You know where it is? No, but we can help you look for it. No, sorry, I've got to do this myself. I'll come over just as soon as I find out where it is. Promise? On my honor. So long. Bye. Bye. Hello? Looking for someone? Not someone, someplace. Want some company? Only if you'll take me where I want to go. Any place you want to go is all right with me. Golden Calf Cafe? I know a better place. Nope, not interested. It's a very intimate place. We could be left quiet to ourselves. I'm still not interested. The Golden Calf Cafe, it's no deal. I could take you there. Get over to your side of the street. <laughs> you needn't trouble yourself taking me there. The address will be enough. It's no trouble. It will be your pleasure. Did you hear what I said? Keep your hands from me! The girls, girls, please now. You keep out of this. This isn't the first time she pulled a trick like this. Get over to your side of the street, you tramp. Who you call a tramp? You tramp! Oh, I... Hey, keep your hands hey, out! Hey, 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 Sorry. Do you have a... Yeah, yeah. Say, uh, do you know where the golden calf is? Are you free? Yes. Can you take me to this place? Golden calf. Mm-hmm. Are you certain? Yep. Well, it's your money. Golden calf. 150, please. Are you sure? Well, now it's your money. Thanks. I did make good time, didn't I? Despite the fact I got a late start. Please forgive me my leaving without saying goodbye. That's a business matter that took me away so suddenly. Mm -hmm. 
Well, if you're not too preoccupied with business, I'd like to talk to you about another matter. Yes? Somewhat more urgent. Uh -huh. uh, privately. Of course, certainly. <laughs> Please step inside. And now, what is this other more urgent matter? Where can I find Mona? <laughs> Undesirable, but interesting question, Mr. Brandt. I'll give you just two seconds to come up with an equally interesting answer. Where's Mona? She's with Max, of course. And Max? He's at the club. What club? Ask Max. I'm asking you. I'm afraid I can't tell you. To relieve a business associate will be highly unethical. I think I know some ethics you'll understand. Go on, go on, hit me. Won't do you any good. It won't make me tell you where Mona is. Do you know why? Because you're not going to have Mona. Because when Max ties of her, she will belong to me. And you, Mr. Brand, will be out of the picture completely. Go on, hit me. I won't defend myself. Why don't you hit me? Because you're afraid. That's why. You are afraid. You're afraid. You should have hit him. Nah. Wouldn't have helped. But think of the fun you'd have had. <laughs> Can you drive? Sure, where are we going? To the club. Are you crazy? Yes, about you. you haven't heard about me isn't worth to be heard my reputation is true you see heard it myself from a bird I'm the sack around the clock to every marriage I'm a knock this lighted spot sure makes me hot tonight Strips, you cute in pies, please close your eyes. Polite. Mona's dressing room is over there. Go in and wait for her. Yes, I know he's in town, Oli. As a matter of fact, he's here right now. Hello, newspaper man. I wonder how much you had to torture Mona to find that out. I didn't tell so. She told me willingly. Is that so? Mm. She also told me that you stole something from my car, and I want it back. I don't know what you're talking about. You took it. Is a 
girl bat simply because of these robes when the temperature is up? We have got lots of time. Where is it? I'm the shark around the clock. Where is it? Turn off the spot. I'm much too hot. Come outside, away from me. Where are they, Pete? Didn't you have a timetable somewhere? Oh, the drawer. What's going on? Your American friend came to say goodbye. I don't think he's coming back. I'll need this. Max! Take Mona to her room and see that she stays there. Did you hear what he said? All right, pick him up. Uh, we have only a few minutes. That's the closest I've ever come to being a hamburger. You should talk. I just swallowed my heart, I think. <laughs> you know, the funny thing is, I never got to see Mona. She's still at the club. You think we can get to her? Of course we can. Hey, what was that for? For saying we. <laughs> well, I'm just gonna have to watch what I say from now on. Come on. Can you make it? We can. Order a beer. You've become a nuisance, and that could complicate things. I won't be locked in my room. I'm going out. You're not going any place, young lady. You're staying right here and wait until Max comes back. You're going to keep your mouth shut. Is that clear? Ah! Lady's waiting for you at the taxi station. Oh, baby, it's all right. Yes, hurry. 
But what about Max? And... Don't worry about him. And I'll take care of Max. Hurry. Explain later. Come on. How did it go? Exactly as we expected. Is Mona in a dressing room? Uh, I think so. What do you mean with I think so? Well, uh, I mean. Uh... The last time when I saw her, when you went out, uh, then she was there. What am I? A babysitter? Mona, Mo. Hello, Max. Where is she? Mona's gone. How did? Who let her out? I did, of course. I'm warning you, Lila. If you are playing games with me, I play very rough. That's what I like about you, darling. You're so manly. I mean it, Lila. So do I. Why did you let her out? Don't you know why? She's getting a little fresh air. She'll be back when it's time for her medicine. And uh, that won't be for a while yet. Close. For a minute, I thought we'd had guests. What do you mean? Max and his pals. They think we're dead. Why should they come here? To get this. Oh, by the way, did you find out where he gets it? The man's name is Kruger. Uh huh. And um, here's address. Oh, good girl. And they have a password. Snowflake. Uh huh. Well. We'd better contact the police immediately. What will they do with me? Well, they'll probably get you to the hospital. Everything happens so quickly. I don't know. Moni, you've got to fight this. You know that. Yes, but, but I'm so tired and I need to rest. I know. Well, I'll go to the police by myself. But I, I can't leave you here. Operator? Give me an outside line, please. see you. I'll be over right away. Oh. 
Bye, Larry. Right away. Good heavens. Brigitte, Larry's coming. Larry is coming. Wake up. Larry. Stop that. Don't worry, Max. She come back. I don't know. I'm not sure of her any longer. If I were you, I would be more concerned about what the police are going to think. And they find that package in his hotel room. How do we know it's in his hotel room? How do we know it's not? We'll soon see. Check every hotel in town and find out the one he was staying at. And then get over there. I'll stay here. And take care of Mona when she comes back. These Americans are crazy. They think they can call us at any time. And we will be waiting for them with open arms. Well, won't we? <laughs> How do I look? Terrible. Larry! Good powder, you know. I love them. Oh, hello, Larry. Oh, you have company. Uh, this is Mona. Mona, I'd like you to meet Ingrid and Brigitte. Well, this is a surprise. May I take your coat? I'll take it. Oh. I didn't have time to dress. Obviously. What happened to your eye? Well, I I'll explain later. Look, uh, we're in some trouble. Mona needs some rest and she needs somebody to look after her for a while. You're the only friends I've got in Stockholm, and I, I wondered if you could help us out. Of course. Come, i get you dressed. Now, don't worry, Mom. You're in good hands. I won't. Come on. Ingrid, I want you to know what you're getting into, and that I realize I'm asking an awful lot. But you see, this girl's a dope addict. Now she's getting out of it. But you need both of you to look after her for a while. We'll take care of her. Thanks. I appreciate that. If I couldn't just stay for a second. I'm sorry. I, I can't. Uh, I've got some things to take care of. I'll call you. You're wonderful. Goodbye. Goodbye. Snowflake. Please sit down. You can go now. Would you care for a cognac? Don't mind if I do. Please? Thanks. I didn't hear your name. I didn't give it. And, um, what can I do for you? I have a business proposition. And what makes you think I'm interested? Oh, I just think you will be. Who sent you? He didn't give his name. I work alone. And what is your proposition? I can deliver. What? Snow. How much? Enough. And often. Perhaps I might be interested. Shall we say tonight?
Hello, Larry. This is Ingrid. Maud is ill. She needs a doctor. You better come over right away and help me to get her to one. Brigitte is trying to calm her down, but nothing we do seems to work. So please, Larry, come over. Excuse me. Where's the inspector's desk, please? Oh, Dad. Uh, the inspector, please. Hey, inspector. Yeah. Can someone see you. Oh. Hello, inspector. Hello. My name's Brad. I'm a correspondent with the New York Chronicle. What can I do with you, Mr. Brad? Well, I have some information I think you'll be interested in. Uh-huh. Won't you sit down? Thanks. What is this information? Well, it concerns a narcotics gang operating here in Stockholm. How long have you known about this? A couple of days now. Why didn't you come to us immediately? Well, I would have naturally. But I couldn't because they held a friend of mine hostage. Can't you identify them? I mean, the gang members. Yes, I can. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Miss Babstrom, the Kruger files, please. Kruger? Then you know about it. Yes, but unfortunately, we never had evidence enough to prosecute. Uh -huh. Thank you. Do these men look familiar to you? As far as I know, Inspector, these are the key men. Can you prove that? I found these on the back of this one, Max's car. Do they have any help? I'm afraid not. Package of narcotics in itself is not evidence. It must be found on his person, or it's of no use. Inspector, I'm going to meet Kruger tonight at his house. Now, if you could follow me there, I think that I can arrange for you to find the narcotics in his possession. How? By pretending to be a dope pusher. A plant would never stand up in court, you know that. What we need is witnesses. But I'm willing to testify. And if you're interested in meeting one of their victims, I can bring her here. She will testify? Yes, she will. Very well. Bring her here in time, and you will have company tonight. Sake, what happened? Three men came just after we called you. You call me? Where? Where did you call me? At your hotel room, of course. Oh, this is this is terrible. I'm sorry I drug you girls into this mess. Oh, don't worry. I'll call the police. Whatever you do, don't do that. Why? You call the police and we'll probably never see Mona alive again. Then what can we do? There's only one thing to do. What? Find her. There's nothing in the newspaper about the market. Maybe something went wrong. He wasn't with Mona. And Mona hasn't seen him. Ah, he is in his coffin. Yeah, but you forgot to put the lid on.
I begin my act in a few minutes. That should keep the manager's eyes on me long enough for you to come and get Mona. Where is she? She's locked in a linen closet behind the steps. Give me five minutes and then come down. Okay. Oh, one other thing. They have a henchman at the entrance. You'll have to get around him somehow. Well, I'll just have to find a way. Good luck. Thanks. For you to hold me tight. I've been waiting for you, baby, to come and do me right. On the corner, wait at the bar. I waited in the place there just as long as you ain't far. I gonna miss you, honey, if you ain't there soon. I've been waiting for you, baby, but you ain't coming no how. I've been waiting for you, baby, waiting for you late each night. I've been waiting for you, baby, waiting for you to hold tight. She awakens. How is she, Doctor? She'll be all right. Luckily, she came to us in time. Let's go into my office. We can talk there. We will put her through a cure. It will be hard on her at times. But she has the willpower. That she stands a fair chance of recovery. Yes. I wish I could say that about other cases we have, and will have. Believe me, it isn't a pretty sight to see those human wrecks totally destroyed because of other people's greed for money. Actually, there is no real narcotic problem in Sweden. We have only about 200 cases a year. <coughs> Well, if our raid tonight proves at all successful, you may have some new cases on your hands. If their source of supply is cut off, they will be forced to turn to me for help. And as you know, most of them must be forced. Sorry, Doctor, but the inspector wants Larry Brand. We're ready to go now. Good luck. Thank you, Doctor. And uh, say hello to Mona for me, will you? I will. you earlier. I had some business to take care of. Good business, I hope. Yes, very good. And what about our transaction? I said that I could deliver. 
but I didn't tell you that I always check up on my business associates. And unfortunately, Mr. Brand, you didn't pass the examination. I don't understand. You will. I think you two gentlemen have met before. Yes, I'm sorry to say we have. Mr. Brown, you know too much for comfort. You give me no choice. Perhaps you have already talked to the police, but that is not important. Dead witnesses don't talk, and Mona we don't worry about. We can handle her. Don't be stupid, Kruger. Peddling dope is one thing and murder is another. I wasn't afraid to let you come here. And I have means to get you out.
You two carry that gate. We went into the funny house. Get the people out of the area. Two men enter the house from each side. Okay, come on. Shoot the side. Attention, please. Attention, please. Will everybody leave the area immediately? There is a dangerous criminal loose in the vicinity. He is armed. I repeat. Will everybody leave the area immediately? There is a dangerous criminal loose in the vicinity. And he is armed. You can have this job. I have. Hi. Hi. I spoke to your doctor today. 
He says you're doing fine. It will take some time before I'm completely cured. Yes, but the important thing is you're making the effort. Yes, with your help. From now on, you'll be on your own. You're going away? Mm-hmm. When? Tonight. My plane leaves at nine for Casablanca. Will I see you again? I hope so. You're leaving? And I don't know how to thank you. Don't. You just get well. If you felt you owed me anything, consider it paid in full. Goodbye. Goodbye, Larry. Hotel, quick. Oh no. 